what's going on everyone welcome back to a new video my name is of course Paul today's video we're going to take a look at what's on my S21 Ultra so without any further ado let's jump in to the video okay so let's jump into it now so let's take a look at what's actually on the phone itself so there's a Spigen tempered glass screen protector on the front video on that coming soon We've got the blue Nano Pop Caseology case with the yellow piping. We will take that off during the video, but that's what I've been using just lately. Okay, so the screensaver is actually from the Samsung store itself, which is the McLaren shooting the flame out the back and it goes right on to the fingerprint sensor. This at the top is designed to look like a Speedo and it doesn't do a 24 hour clock. It basically just does one to 12 and zero to 60. The fuel gauge right there, is what the battery percentage is so let's jump in let's unlock the phone okay so now we've unlocked the phone as you can see the screen saver on this side of the phone is the iphone wallpaper one of the new iphone wallpapers from the iphone 12 series thought it looked really good on this lovely oled screen swiping across to the left i've got the google now feed basically just basically my google feed tells me a little a few little stories i can click on read as you can see newest releases for google got two of them right here video coming soon let's talk about what actually on the device itself so this is the google pixel widget comes from google direct it's actually just a google widget let's click on it now and have a go to widgets and then we slide across all the way to the google as you can see there's the widget It'll show you what meetings you've got and stuff like that coming up. That's in your calendar. So that is the widget that I'm currently using at the top. Just reminds me of the Google Pixel. I've got not in the middle. Then across the bottom right here, I've got a row of apps and a row of apps in the dock at the very bottom there. So I've got WhatsApp, that's how I communicate with everybody. Twitter, Spotify, YouTube, of course. Gotta watch some YouTube. Waze is my navigation app of choice. Don't really use Google Maps unless I really need to. It is on the phone, but I do tend to use Waze as my primary. Got the phone app, the messages app. I use Google Chrome for my internet side of things because it goes along with my MacBook because I use the MacBook on Google Chrome as well now. More on that coming soon on a what's on my MacBook update, which is, uh, it's changed quite a lot from the last video. Then you got Instagram at the very bottom right there. If you're not following me, I'll leave it linked right here for you. So you head over, follow me. I've got the month calendar widget on the other screen. It shows me what I've got coming up and obviously I can check dates, etc. Row of apps again, I've got Twitch. Lightroom Mobile, Pocket Cast is my Android podcasts provider of choice, Outlook for some old emails that I've still got kicking about, and the NFL app to keep track of me two teams. So if we swipe up now and we go across to the very end, go through some of these apps. Now the gaming apps I'm not actually going to go into because there's a dedicated video coming on that soon. So there's going to be a quick video showing you what's on the phone. I've got a Google folder at the top which comes on the phone, Chrome, Google Drive, Google Duo, Gmail, etc. I've got a Microsoft one, O2 recommends because this is an O2 device. I've got a Samsung list of apps. Got 6x6 Mudrunner, 8 Ball Pool. Again, the games I'm not going to show you, I'll just talk about. Got Airbnb for when we can travel, hopefully in the future. Hopefully that's not too far away now. Airport City, Amazon Kindle. Don't read all that much, but there is a few books that I'm reading. Amazon Music, Amazon Photos. I've recently just started to use Amazon Photos. Amazon Shopping App, of course. Among Us, Asphalt 9, B&H for when I'm looking for cameras, etc. More to come on what new camera I'm currently using right now as I was using the iPhone as my main YouTube camera. I've now moved on from that and we're now using a new camera. If you haven't seen on Instagram then I'll be showing you more on that in a what's in my photography bag which is coming in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that one. Basketball Arena, Boohoo Man if I want to do a little bit of shopping for some new hoodies because I know some of you have been questioning the hoodies lately. Calculator, my calendar app, Call of Duty, the camera app again. Canon Camera Connect to connect to me Canon 80D, which I do still use from time to time. Car parking, car drift racing, and cinema HD, along with clock. Then we've got Adidas Confirmed. So the Adidas Confirmed app will basically allow you to go in, purchase new sneakers that are coming out, new clothing, etc. If you're not on Adidas Confirmed, make sure you get on this. This is a uh, definitely one for you sneakerheads out there. Contacts, Disney Plus. I have got a Disney Plus subscription. Got the Epic Games launcher for another game. Everlast Fitness is me gym 
when the gyms are finally back open hopefully that's coming soon too extreme golf f1 mobile then we've got facebook flight pilot foot locker for those sneaker purchases of course forza street the galaxy store gallery game launcher gboard is my keyboard of choice so when i'm typing away and swiping is gboard i don't use the samsung keyboard i use gboard then we've got good luck headball 2 absolutely addicted can't stay off it trying for this video <laughs> so google home controls all me google home stuff i've got the google nest mini and of course the chromecast right here there's more google products throughout the house so yeah i mean there's more coming with the google chromecast in the next couple of days we have a dedicated video on the chromecast not on the nest mini because i've had that out for a while instagram of course you see it on the home page itv hub in case there's some shows i want to take a look at kwgt and kwgt pro is for fancier widgets ld is lens distortions perfect for you photo editors out there if you haven't used lens distortions i suggest you get on that right away allows you to put in various different effects color layers you can unlock various different things if you join as well i haven't joined just yet i'm just using the fog and the mist etc to create some better pictures so lens distortions is a must lego legacy again i can't go into because there's a dedicated video coming soon lightroom we've been through logo game madden magic tile map my walk been doing a lot of walking lately obviously just as many of us have messages who wants to be a millionaire mini football mob dro that's me month for the month calendar with you my o2 app the nasa app netflix nfl overdrop i'm not too sure whether overdrop actually still works seems to it's weather simplified it basically allowed you to get the google pixel widget at the very top right there but now i don't need it because google have done it the phone widget fonto is for putting words on pictures photo room play store pocket cast prime video o2 priority pubg mobile again another game reddit i am on reddit i do use reddit quite a fair bit just to browse basically the news stories that i want to see because i don't really like looking at news store general news stories retouch allows you to take things out of pictures or touch them up a little bit in case you got like a few like speckles of dust on them you can touch them up rewards is definitely an app i think you should check out if you've got any type of android phone then Google Opinion Rewards is definitely the way to go. You complete surveys and you get some cash, but the cash goes into the Play Store, not for you to keep. But definitely the best way to get in like books, games, music, anything else you want to get on the Play Store. Best way to get it, use this so you're not actually using your own money, you're just using the rewards. And it takes like a couple of seconds to complete one basically samsung free is what would have been on the other page where the google now feed is you can have samsung free samsung global goals samsung notes i do use notes across all my devices but i have started using notion a lot lately but i haven't put it on this device but it will be coming on here shortly samsung pass to keep all your passwords samsung pay obviously pay for things settings shazam snapchat sniper 3d spark post is another good way of putting writing on pictures in case you need to do some thumbnails etc and you can actually select what you're actually working on whether it's an instagram story an instagram post and it'll size it to what you need it, including the youtube thumbnail speed test is to test out new 5g networks i have been doing it a lot lately but i'm not going into it in a dedicated video i just wanted to see what speeds i could get i have posted them on twitter if you do want to see it. spotify xbox game stream some pass i use in the states when we're there i've got about 40 dollars on there right now which i haven't been able to use hopefully i don't lose it telegram at the top if you don't know what's going on with me using telegram then be sure to check out the patreon link linked down below text on photo is another android based text on photo app but i tend to use fonto and adobe spark post gore is to keep track of all my teams me nfl me basketball me nhl you know stuff like that i can keep track of it through the score samsung tips that's just their tips are top 11 talk burnout truck simulator 2 choro is for obviously when i would go to the states and i want to rent a different car than the one i've rented you know i may want to rent a tesla at some point so i'll be using choro in the states and bringing yet yeah, a video on choro twitch you've seen twitter of course vehicle smart is so you can go in you can see whether your car's insured when the mot is due visco is an editing app for photos watched i started using watched it was on the play store but you do need 
to buy a subscription to keep watching. You can watch about 10 minutes of American television, but then you do need to buy a subscription. So that kind of went to the wayside. Ways, of course, WhatsApp. Wild Rift, again, coming soon to a dedicated video. Xbox Game Pass, kind of using that again, but that'll come in the gaming video with a new product. Well, not a new product, but a product that helps you when you're gaming. YouTube Music, I don't use. YouTube Studio, on there all the time, replying to comments, looking at stats. Zedge for ringtones and a couple of wallpapers and Zoopla for when I'm looking at American property. But this is the Matte Black, well the Phantom Black Samsung Galaxy 21 Ultra. If there's anything you think I should check out, please let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, what do you think of what's on my S21 Ultra? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below this video. Also, new Patreon page is up right now. Feel free to go and check it out. You don't have to, but feel free to go and do that. Plenty more videos still to come, guys, so make sure you stay tuned for them all to come soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Please drop a like if you liked it, sub if you loved it, turn those notifications on, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. See you all soon.